today we have a very special unboxing. We are opening up a custom doll that we got from Mexico. Um, we bought this doll off of eBay and it is here and we are super excited to add this doll to our collection. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull her right out of the box and take a look at her. Here she is, you guys. She is so pretty. She looks just like the mom does in the actual movie. So we're gonna go ahead and take the plastic off and take a better look at all of the fine details. This was a former Elsa doll that has now been rerouted and repainted to look just like the queen. All right, so her hair is in a braided updo. It is wrapped around her head completely. Um, she has bangs and she has a silver tiara in her hair. Her eyes have been repainted to a icy blue. She has rosy cheeks and dusty rose lips. Moving on to her dress, uh, she has a high neckline. It has gold trim and a green brooch. The top of her dress is long sleeved and it is purple and it also has the gold trim. Going down her dress, it is black and periwinkle blue and it has a chevron print at the bottom. Her shoes are also periwinkle blue, just like the bottom of the dress. And they are flats and they are Barbie sized, so we don't have to get any special sized shoe for her, so she can wear anything the Barbie can wear. Going back to the dress, it also has flowers at the bottom above the chevron, and then it has a floral pattern going up the sides of the black portion of the dress. And along with that, she also has a gold and black belt around her waist. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit better look at the crown. So it is silver, it looks just like Elsa's, and it is attached into place, so it will not move. I'm gonna go ahead and turn her around so you guys can take a better look at the back of her dress and her hair. So there's her hair. Um, you can see the braid a lot better. And she has Velcro in her dress. We were super excited to see that because some customs do come with their clothes sewn on so you cannot change them, but she can, so we can put her in more modern outfits if we wanted to. Um, so we're really excited about that. The back of the dress is just black and it has the floral trim around the bottom just like the front. So it's very similar. And the black portion is connected to the um, front of the dress, which is the periwinkle blue side. Um, so it's like a cape-ish, but you can't like move it. And then she's the gold trimming around the back, just like the front. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the points of articulation that this doll has. So she can bend at the wrist, she can bend at the elbow, and the shoulder. Also, um, something that I did not show you guys is her head does turn. It is a little bit difficult to turn because she has so much hair on her head. So you have to be super careful when you do it, but her head can turn from side to side and not up and down. She also can bend at the waist going forwards and backwards. Now let's take a look at the articulation in her legs. So she can bend at the knee. She can move at the hip to the front and to the side. And she has articulation in her ankle so she can wear either flat shoes or heeled shoes. Alright you guys, so that is the entire Queen Idunna doll. We are super excited to now have this custom and we are going to be making some super cool videos with this doll. So we hope you all are super excited to see those.
If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave us some comments down below on if you are super excited to see some videos with our new doll. Make sure to subscribe to Tabby2 and click the little notification bell so you will be notified when we have our brand new video up. I think that will be it for us today, you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.